Okay, sheep. Go, you're testing this out for spinners. Go, sheep. Go. Hey, Spy here, and welcome back to another Minecraft episode. So I was just in my cave here doing some mining when I came across this lava, and then an idea sprung in my head, and the idea is to build a brand new secret base underneath some lava. We're gonna grab as much as possible, and I have Mr. Spinner's Wiggles with me today, so he's gonna be helping me build this base. All right, so let's head to the surface. Let's grab some building materials and get started. This base is gonna be amazing. No one's gonna be able to know it's actually inside the lava it's gonna be super duper awesome and secret all right is he following me yep he's way down there come on i really hope he doesn't jump in the lava today because that would be super sad i would probably just quit minecraft yep okay so let's grab some ladders here we're gonna need it for a way to get out of our base might as well grab some of these slabs and i have some stone here cooking which we're going to turn into some more bricks for the interior and i think i'm going to need some carpet to kind of hide the ladder all right mr spinners wiggles let's go okay so i'm not too sure where we're gonna be building this hidden base oh there's a lot of creepers around actually you know what right by that little dirt patch over there is perfect because the base will be right in everyone's vision and they won't even know what's there creeper go away uh don't tell them where my base is because that won't be nice. I'm going to have all my valuables in there. And my kitty cat is going to be sad if he goes missing. All right. So this is a perfect spot, actually. It's going to look like a little fountain, I think. So we're going to cut away, I don't know, a little square around here like this. Uh, but we're going to have to go down quite a ways. I think about three or four. So before we throw in the lava, we are going to need to get our signs. Throw our signs all along here because this will prevent the lava from flowing down into our base and it's also gonna be the way we get back down into our house without dying because yeah you assumed right we're gonna jump through the lava and we're gonna survive do these signs catch fire i didn't think of that they, they might let's add our lava is this gonna work oh that looks awesome kind of just flowing right the creeper creeper no I think Mr. Spinner's Wiggle stayed in the house up there, so he's not gonna protect me from these creeper boys. You know what? Go! No, no, don't blow up my, don't blow up my stairs, please. They're nice looking. <sighs> Get out of here, you jerks. <clears throat> Go! No, no! Oh, thank you. See you later. So that looks awesome, but if we jump in there right now, it's going to burn us alive. So let's go back down. Oh, this is scary. Mine out a little area down here, and we're gonna put some water down below. So once we jump through, it will put us out, hopefully. Am I gonna test this with my full diamond armor? Yep, will it backfire? Maybe. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna throw some more signs right here, and in between these levels are where the water's gonna be. Now to make water stuff. Is that gonna make unlimited water? Yep. There we go, now we just fill this up. There we go. Okay, so, oh, I guess it works, but we're gonna test it out. We're gonna really test it out here. I'm a little scared, three, two, one. I just did it, I just winged it. It works. Wow, that is awesome. So our base is gonna be down here, past the water. What do you guys think? Is it awesome? What should we call this base? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm thinking Spy's Lava Cave. I don't know, let me know. <laughs> All right, so now we need to make this look like an actual fountain. So I'm gonna throw some blocks down and make it look not as it, c conspicuous, that's the word. And it looks like just an ordinary lava fountain, kind of. There we go. I should have put the lava a little higher, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna throw a sign down though to make it look like this is my fountain and people shouldn't touch it. Spies Lava Fountain of Magic. I'm not lying here. It's hard to read, but you know, boom. And now we just jump back in and get building our base. Ah, that's a little scary. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to that. All right, now where should we build our base? Should we build it under here? That might be pretty good. I don't wanna drown, so I better hurry up. And I think we're a perfect height. So I'm just gonna dig this out. So this is the entrance. It's gonna be like a little welcome area. And then off over here, we're gonna have the main lobby, main lobby area. And then over here, I'm gonna have like a storage room. There we go. And then over here, this is gonna be my bedroom. We just need to figure out how we're gonna actually get out of here when we want out because currently we're trapped underneath the lava here. So maybe behind one of my walls here, I'll have an entrance out. 
maybe the bedroom wall, like right here. We're gonna have a picture there and it'll just lead up. I do need more ladders though. So I'm going to make a crafting bench. Let's get some sticks and boom, we got 29 ladders. So this will go up. Okay, now can I put a carpet on top of this ladder? <gasps> can I go down? No, a carpet right there should work for now. It looks a little hidden. Not the greatest, but, but it works. And now it's time for me to decorate this secret base. First with storage, which is the easiest. I brought these barrels. So I'll be back in a little bit once I decorate this whole base. And then we're going to do a secret base vault shelter tour. Yeah. Um... Okay, that's a little creepy. While I was building down here, a thunderstorm in the snow just started. Huh? That's a thing? Oh my gosh, that's scary. All right, so here we go. I finished up the base. It says, welcome to Spy Cakes Hidden Lava Base. We have the lobby here where we got some chairs and stuff to enjoy our food while we're all alone down here. And then over here, this is the storage room. We have like some stove set up here. We got a little sink and a countertop and the storage here, which has all of my building stuff in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be living here all the time, but I have storage for ores and my valuables. And then over here, this is my bedroom. I got a nice carpet. It's kind of like Halloween themed, kind of, I guess. This is my bed right there. I got some shelves there and this is the exit. And then we place down our picture. Whoa, that looks awesome. And we just crouch and we're in our secret exit. Now there's one thing I wanna try, but I don't know if it's gonna work. I wanna get spinners wiggles down in the base. How am I going to do that? I, I have no clue. I might just push him into the lava, but hold on. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna try it out with a sheep or something first if I can find a creature. Is there animals around here? Okay, so I got a sheep right behind me here. We're gonna test this out. I don't know if it's gonna go well or not. Okay, sheep, you know what to do. Go, you're testing this out for spinners. Go, sheep, go. Um, spinners, spinners wiggles. Yeah, you, you didn't see anything, did you? Okay, I think we should take him into the back entrance. <laughs> Come on, spinners. No, no, there's a kitty cat. And there's spinners wiggles, yeah! You didn't have to go through the lava. Nice. You stay right there, spinners wiggles. <laughs> didn't try throwing you in a lava pit or anything. All right, so I got thinking, what's a good way to prevent this base from being discovered by Obi, Komodo, or Brandon? Well, as you can see here, I removed the water level of the base here, and I'm going to make a little contraption where we can block off the entrance using some sticky pistons over here with a lever down in our base and it will close up the entrance and anyone jumping in will actually burn alive. So it might not have a secret entrance after all. Okay, so I'm going to place down some pistons right here like that, some over here. And these ones over here are going to have to go a little farther away just so that they don't collide with the other things. Put down some stone bricks on all of the sticky pistons like that. Put down some blocks on the back. Let's put down some repeaters there and redstone all the way down like this. Now, how am I gonna have this? Maybe down there? Then up. Yeah, that works. Next step is to get this redstone downstairs so we can put a lever on it and then we can close up this entrance. But I also have to add the water back down here somewhere. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Maybe I could just throw a little bit right here and it will work. Back here, I'm going to make a little redstone staircase that goes all the way down to the bottom of our entrance. And then down here, we just throw redstone there and there and block up this wall. And now our lever should work. Let's see. Okay, it kind of works. Okay, our redstone doesn't have enough distance. So we'll put down a repeater like that, repeater like that and check it out. It's blocked off. It works. Okay, so now all we gotta do is cover up the corners just so people can't fall down into here. We're gonna put some stairs here as well, which might be difficult. There we go. Oh no, what? All right, so I think I fixed it. I think it works now. People can't drop down on the sides here. Well, I guess they probably still could, but um, it'll, it'll work. Okay, let's grab our signs. We're gonna put our signs, not right there, but one lower like that. Water, water. Okay, so let's see if this works. Close that, looks good. I'm actually going to test this. So let's drop off all our stuff before we do this. 
Okay, so let's try this out before the skeleton gets me. Jump down. Um, well, it works. It works great. <laughs> no one can get in. Hey, look, my horse. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave this closed for now, just in case there's intruders. Well, that's the lava base. If you have any suggestions on what we should add on the inside, let me know and I might add to it. Now, I really hope the other guys don't find it. I guess we'll have to see. Anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and thanks for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet.